so we're back at the shop that I went ahead and diag the uh, 09 Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, and it turns out that I was right. Here are the parts, but in addition to this, I also wanted to have the customer go ahead and read off all the things that were done. Okay, hi guys, my name is Justin. Uh, yeah, so pretty much how this all started was it sat for a little bit and it, everything went back from there. So the first thing I replaced, uh, the second tech here told me to replace the spark plugs and the ignition wires. Those are the first thing I should do. So that was the first thing I did. I replaced the ignition wires and the spark plugs. Three spark plugs on okay, So you did plugs. replace the ignition wires too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so he replaced three ignition wires, but he didn't replace the coils. So ignition wires, spark plugs. Uh, I replaced the water pump, but that wasn't because it was misfiring. I replaced that before anything happened. It was seeping through the, the, through the, weep the weep hole. The weep hole, okay. Um, I changed the battery because I got a code saying low battery voltage. Um, I had a crank sensor code, so the lead tech here, he told me maybe I should replace the crankshaft sensor, replace that. Um, I got a MAP sensor code, replace the MAP sensor. What's this? Uh, the in intake temp, intake temp, temp sensor. sensor. Okay. I replaced that, and because the car was sitting for so long, uh, another guy told me maybe it's because the, bad, the gas has been sitting in there and maybe got bad and uh, messed up the injectors. So I took the gas out, replaced the gas. Through the gas tank itself? Mm -hmm. So you dropped the tank or you I, just I, siphoned? We, we, dropped, we siphoned it out. Okay. Yeah. So uh, got gas out of there, uh, put some, um, what do you call that, the injector cleaner and okay. stuff like that, put some of that in there. And yeah, pretty much that was it after that. I, and I changed the oil because it was Oh, of course, it had fuel out. dumped in there. Yeah, okay. So I went through all those things and just to find out that my car was <laughs> here. <laughs> it sucks, but. It's a learning experience, yeah. and hopefully the guys here can learn from this uh, mishap. Mm -hmm. So right here you see the head, it's been cracked off. One of the pieces, that's just one of the pieces. Uh, I think when he uh, replaced the valve cover, the other piece had already broken off and shot out. I'm sure this was just laying in there, the rocker. And here's the lifter, whatever you want to call it, lift adjuster. Or... So. There you go. Using a, the scope, you can easily at least pinpoint where the issue is, uh, not even having to open up the engine, not having to remove many parts, and, and boom. That's cylinder number two, and we got it. We got it diagged. So I hope people watching can understand and gain something from this video. Diag and, and ask questions. Why did you have a hole in the, in the valve cover? And, you know, just be methodical, logical before throwing parts at things. Uh, maybe even ask technicians, why do you think? Did it check bad uh, before we replace something, you know? So, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see you later.